So there is a new AI tool in Google Docs that kind of flew under my radar and this could be a great alternative to Eleven Labs. And basically, you can create audio or speech based on the text or the content of the document. Now, technically, this is called the Listen to Document or Listen to Tab tool and this has been around for quite some time, but only recently, now it is being powered by AI and if you have been using tools like Gemini and not WLM, then you will know that the text to speech ability from Google is just really good. It sounds natural and very human. Now, in this video, I'll show you how you can use that tool in Google Docs. And later, we are going to compare the quality with 11 last. And in my opinion, in some ways, the Google Docs version is way better and more superior than 11 Labs. So for this demonstration, I'm going to use this simple paragraph. Actually, I'm going to just use this section. So it's very short. I'm going to copy it and let's paste that into Google Docs. And now to generate audio or speech from the text, you can click insert, click audio buttons and click listen to tap or you can, you can just click this button. It is basically the same thing. A black hole is a region in space where gravity has become so incredibly strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. Okay, that's pretty good. So if you don't want to use this voice and you want to use something else, you can click this button, click change voice and select the profile that you want to use. Let's say I want to use this one that says educator. A black hole is a region in space where gravity has become so incredibly strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. Okay, it sounds very natural and it has some emotion to it, which is very good. Now, let's insert the same text to the text-to-speech tool in 11 Labs and you'll see the difference between Google Docs and 11 Labs. So, I'm going to insert the text. And for the model, let's miselect the 11 version 3. So, this is the most advanced model from 11 Labs. And I'll just generate the speech. Okay, just wait for it. A black hole is a region in space where gravity has become so incredibly strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. Okay, so that's pretty good. But what makes Google Docs version better is because first, it is free. And secondly, in 11 last, you are limited to only 3000 characters per generation. But in Google Docs, virtually there is no limit. So if you're working on a very long project, then I guess you can use Google Docs as an alternative and not to mention it is much faster than 11 Labs. Now the question is how do you download this audio? Well at the moment this is not a feature that you could uh, fully use as uh, alternative or very similar to 11 Labs even though the quality is great but there is no download button and that's something that we have to work with. So I do recommend to use a Chrome extension called Chrome Audio Capture and don't worry I'm going to put the link in the description. So just click this button just install the extension to your browser and i'll show you how you can download the audio using this chrome extension okay so the extension has been installed and basically we are going to use this extension to record the audio that's coming from the google docs document so to do that you can click the extension menu and then pin the extension this will make the access a lot easier and faster now click the extension and click start capture and then you can play the audio. So I'll just do the quick demonstration here. A black hole is a region in space where gravity has become so incredibly strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. There you go. So as simple as that, just record and then save the audio to your computer. Click download and click save. I'm going to play it. A black hole is a region in space where gravity has become so incredibly strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. Okay, so yeah, that's a workaround because again, we don't have the download button in Google Docs. But again, if you're working on a long document and you want to save some money, then I guess you can use Google Docs as an alternative to 11 Labs. So that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.